KBG tennis coach Penny Dean. Coach, uh, tomorrow, uh, Friday, April 1st, your team will finally play a match in Northwest Ohio for the first time in a long time. Um, you actually got two matches this weekend. Can you just talk a little bit about uh, maybe finally getting to come back home and play? Okay, I must say, I, I woke up this week and didn't even know how to handle it. Like, oh my God, I went to Enterprise, <laughs> thought I rented a van, but no, I didn't. Anyways, we're very excited to be home, and um, it is unusual. Just this whole year is almost away from home, and we've become road warriors, so hope we can adjust to Perrysburg Tennis yeah. Center where we practice. <laughs> um. You've uh, started MAC play last weekend, and um, really, you had two MAC matches last weekend, but I mean, you've not been home since February 5th, and wow. you had seven straight matches away from home in there. Can you just talk about how how the teams handled that and how, how things are progressing here as you go and get into MAC play? Okay, I'm pretty amazed about the travel because <laughs> we do have three new kids, and, and it's it's way more tiring to go on the road and sure. harder to get your academic work done, but everybody's just been troopers and um, we're used to it and it's it's been fine. I mean, but we are, we're glad we're going to be home now <laughs> for a little bit in the month of April for sure. Um, Christine Chiracosta, your lone senior, has been, seems like she sets or ties a record just about every time out. She's the all-time BG leader in combined wins and singles wins and with uh, she and Maddie Eccleston won two doubles matches last weekend she's tied that record can you just talk about her maybe obviously the wins are great but maybe just the consistency the leadership she brings with such a young team um, Wow we would not be where we are without her for sure but it's Again, the wins are amazing when you sit through those and coach her and, and know the, how every point is so grinded out and the matches are three hours long. And then on the score sheet, it's just a W. <laughs> it's amazing. But I would say almost more than that this year, her leadership has been just fantastic. We are a young team. She gets them together. She know, you know, she knows the tradition. The team actually got together with her and Jessica this year and wrote all their own rules, and they really were better than mine. And she's gotten the kids to buy into them and really know that th this is what we're all about. I mean, and her leadership, I mean, in the classroom, she has a 4.0. Our team GPA last semester <laughs> was a 3.86, and I mean, their goal is for everyone on the team to at least get a 3.5 and hold their weight up, so I mean, you, you just, I, I don't like to think about when <laughs> she's not going to be here. <laughs> that is pretty amazing, I just, 3.86 is, we, I probably should be talking about that a lot more in my releases. <laughs> yeah, of that. that's, Mike. That's pretty unbelievable, but uh, Christine, as I said, as she's been a constant. I mean, she's been at number one singles, number one doubles for a couple years now. Mm -hmm. And she and Maddie have played at the top doubles flight all year. But recently, you have uh, you had had kind of the same lineup. Yeah. And, and now, in recent weeks, you've made some changes in both singles and doubles. Right. Can you... Um, well, the thing was, I didn't want Mike, our SID, to have it too easy with the doubles yeah. combinations this I was, year. I was getting we, a little he, he complacent. He was probably getting bored, I mean, because yeah. I didn't change it up. <laughs> no, but seriously, we were winning doubles points, but it was it was just making me pretty nervous. <laughs> <laughs> what, at, at two and three doubles, I, I felt like we were always kind of eking out one of those matches, but... Um, I just didn't feel as confident about those anymore, so um, we had a couple ma non-conference matches and practices where we could try different combinations. And, and also, I guess the other big factor was that Jade Johnson got yeah. healthy again, healthy enough to play because she had been through wrist surgery and, um, you know, getting back into playing shape with her wrist and all that. And I knew, I felt that she was at a point where because, I mean, I knew since last year that she was a very good doubles player and, and knew doubles, but um, she wasn't ready to play physically and mentally. So she finally got to the point 
where she was. So we needed to see what would work out best with her being in there. Um, and so that, that kind of, um, not necessitated, but mm -hmm. made the change possible at that point. And we tried things and came up, up with what we've got now. So <laughs> I'm happy for the moment, Mike. <laughs> sure. Um, another kid, uh, younger player in is uh, that's having some success lately, it seems, is Emily Ruland. Yeah. Um, she had struggled a little yeah. bit in non-conference, and now, I don't know, is it, no. was it mo moving her a spot in the lineup, or was it just she's f figuring things out a little more, or a combination? I guess a combination. It's somewhat the grind for a freshman, I sure. mean, of the season being all year long for tennis, and, and you you can't explain that, and <laughs> you know, but it, I think the grind kind of hit her for a while, and she's not used to losing. She's a very, very confident type of person who had won almost all her matches and did phenomenal in the fall, and mm -hmm. um, then she lost a couple in a row, so what really hit her, I think, was the grind and the confidence thing. Um, I don't really think it was moving down from four to five as much as mm -hmm. just getting a win and then understanding also that especially in Mac play, there's no easy matches. It doesn't matter what position you're at, one sure. through six. It's just they're all very, very, very difficult, and she finally, like, got that. <laughs> and, and she's very motivated, I think, to win all her Mac matches. So, yeah, she's she just had that little blip for a while. <laughs> And then your other freshman, uh, Christine's sister, Nikki yeah. Chiracosta, she's doesn't seem like she's had that struggle. I mean, she's right. made the adjustment to college as well, but has, uh, I believe, the top singles record on the team. I think she's got the most overall wins. I mean, you've got a number of kids yeah, with sure a, lot of wins, a lot of but, wins, but um, is that a product just, obviously, she's her sister three years older she's seen yeah. her play and been teammates i guess one year in high school and now they're teammates again here uh coach's kid i mean does some of that those things help as well or is that uh, just for sure those okay. things help i mean as you would say nikki's kind of just rolling along <laughs> <laughs> nice nice um, uh, product placement <laughs> and you know she she has she's always confident and um she's a great player but she understood coming in, and she talks about this a lot, and she tried to help Emily through her little struggles that she knew more what to expect because sure. having her older sister on this team and getting to some matches and seeing what gets on goes on, and then also her older brother played you know, college right. tennis for four years, and she saw that too. And so, I mean, we're really lucky that Nikki's not having any letdowns because she knew more what to expect, for sure. Okay, and uh, as we mentioned, you're finally home again. The uh, Friday Miami match at 1 o'clock at the Perrysburg Tennis Center, and then Saturday at 1 o'clock again, you're right back there to play Ball State. Um, any final thoughts, anything we didn't touch upon here? Um, I think we <laughs> hit it all, Mike, but uh, I guess I would just like to say that we're ready, I mean, and we're we're confident, but not overconfident, and I'm just, I'm very fortunate, because I have kids on the team this year that know what it's all about, and they're, they're always prepared. Okay, well, thanks very much, and your uh, SID will try to do a better job <laughs> of maybe doing a few more of these interviews down the road here. Thank you, SID. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.